For years, tail wagging companions have been helping veterans struggling with mental health disorders. And service dogs have been doing amazing work all along. When Air Force veteran Betsy Feaster came back from serving in Iraq and Afghanistan, she noticed the number of veterans needing support and who could benefit from a service dog continuing to grow. Noticed a lot of veterans with some some pretty serious mental health issues because uh, it, it's a different type of war than we've been fighting in the more recent history. So people were really suffering from either, you know, mobility support for things that happened, you know, um, losing limbs, things like that, or more commonly psychiatric support with PTSD. She is the CEO of Dog Training Elite. And right here in Sandy, Utah, she is hosting the first class of trainers to train dogs for advanced cases of PTSD, suicide prevention, severe mobility challenges, and psychiatric support. I think the mental health environment is changing, so we're trying to evolve with it. Suicide rate of veterans is at its all-time high. And this one is specifically designed to help um, veterans who are of suicide ideation that have more complex levels of mental health. It's a step up from normal training, openly tackling what can be an invisible struggle so many veterans deal with. And it's designed to save lives. We're teaching dogs, for example, how to alert on mental health conditions before they become extreme. So, for example, if you, if, if you have a tendency for self-harm, how can the dog interrupt your behavior before that happens. Many of these graduates, like Jeff Slack, will go on to help veterans and their service dogs here in Utah. It's a very humbling experience seeing these guys and what they go through and, and being able to help their dog know how to help them in their times of panic or anxiety or something like that. And seeing the difference that these dogs can make for veterans is one of the main reasons why I became a trainer is because I can see the value in it and how much of a tool and an asset these dogs can be for their handlers. In Sandy, Lucy Nelson, Fox 13 News, Utah.